So you guys were like working the case together? Or? Has Jacob Batalon hinted at playing the Hobgoblin in future Spider-Man films? No, not necessarily. But thank you everyone for joining me today. This is James at Digital Charcuterie. Please give us a like, a subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you can stay up to date with all our latest videos. We try to keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of all things uh, geekdom. Let's just get whatever. You know, usually it's movies and superheroes and whatever. But it, it spans everything that we want to talk about. Whatever is of interest, we will talk about. So Jacob Batalon is in a new series, uh, Reginald the Vampire, and Variety caught up with him because you got to do the PR rounds and he caught up with and Variety caught up with our Ned from the Spider-Man films uh, of course uh, spoilers for No Way Home if you have not seen No Way Home 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'm going to spoil it. Uh, not really a big spoiler, but you know that uh, Ned kind of learns uh, through the two other Spider-Men that their best friends kind of turn on them and then uh, uh, die. And Ned's like, oh, that's not going to happen to me. That's not going to happen to me. But as we know, Ned, you know, in the comic realm, Ned does turn into the Hobgoblin. So that is a possibility for it in these films. But anyway, they asked him, they obviously touched on that. And, you know, he's not going to say yes or no because he's not an idiot. Uh, but he does have an answer to the question and the question was posed was in the spider-man comics your character ned becomes hobgoblin at one point is there any chance of us seeing that on screen and jacob Batalon replies from all my years of working with marvel i feel like i've learned to just not say anything i can't really speak on things and then say something that might actually be true and then i ruin something you know what i mean and they ask him again about the, the secrecy of the two other Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, and he talks about that, and this is absolutely uh, the answer you want to give, because it, first it gives me a chance to do a video on it, and you guys watching a video on it, and we all speculating that maybe he's alluding to something happening, but it sounds, it really sounds like that's not going to be the case. The flip side of that is we're not going to get Spider-Man for a while, and Ned doesn't remember Peter Parker, and if something could spark a memory of who Peter was, that could help unleash the goblin, the hobgoblin within Ned. So that's intriguing to me that's a way to go so you could do it if, especially if spider-man is going to be dormant on the mcu for just a little while you could really play up ned and then make him come up and, and also the other thing too is i would really like ned as hobgoblin to not die but then again there have been like nine alter egos of the hobgoblin so yeah no ned Leeds is not necessarily the only one and he might not be the one in this story but it is a possibility it is on the radar of everybody obviously how could it not be and jacob Batalon is playing it very safe saying he will say nothing and i think that's very good so what do you guys think is there a chance that ned will become the hobgoblin in our mcu spider-man universe or do you think that is going to be the alter ego of somebody very different and maybe they'll play with that and then they know that we're expecting ned to be the hobgoblin and then in turn they will make somebody else one of the other eight alter egos of the hobgoblin be that character we're gonna find out time will tell you know it's still early on we just got out of no way home they're not in a rush anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please give us a like and a subscribe but until next time may you be the master of your own universe